Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. And goodbye rain. Get on out of here. But unfortunately, we have more rain chances in the forecast coming up throughout the rest of the work week. But right now, the bulk of that rain pushing off into the Atlantic. Now we're going to watch out for a few showers overnight tonight. A little bit of activity trying to pop up there and radar down by Palm Coast. They still have a few showers out there too. Right now, temperatures are sitting in the 70s for most of us and overnight tonight lows will generally drop down into the lower 70s with a few spots in the 60s. Again, we'll watch out for some showers and we'll watch out for fog tomorrow morning. Look at this future visibility here showing us that we could have some areas of fog out there early tomorrow morning. Palatka to the Jacksonville Airport area over to Lake City. So keep that in mind if you're in, in an area where you do see fog early in the mornings, you likely want to give yourself some extra time to hit the road. Now tomorrow morning, low temperatures again, generally in the lower 70s along the coast. So you could be closer to the mid 70s and inland. I won't roll out a few spots dropping down into the 60s and then we heat back up into the lower 80s and we stay in the lower 80s because we have more cloud cover and more rain on the way. So I am expecting a, another rainy Wednesday, not the widespread rain we saw today, but a couple more rounds of showers and thunderstorms possible, not only on Wednesday, but also on Thursday, maybe even into Friday. So here's a look at our future radar for Wednesday. This is what it's showing again, just pop up showers and thunderstorms. But the problem is where these thunderstorms develop once again, they could drop a lot of rain and create a localized flooding risk. So I'm going to watch out for street flooding again all the way through Thursday. Also, as we head towards the end of the week, we're going to have to look out for coastal hazards. So rip currents become likely by the end of the week. Rough seas, of course, with some small craft advisories and minor coastal flooding is possible with this unsettled weather pattern and the fact that we have a full moon at the end of the week. Friday morning is when we have that full moon. Also, the winds will start to pick up into the weekend. It will get a bit breezier out there. So here's a look at the excessive rainfall risk. We have been highlighted by the Weather Prediction Center under a risk of localized flooding of excessive rain again tomorrow. So keep that in mind where these storms set up. We could see some street flooding yet again, especially because the ground is now saturated because of all the rain we saw today. So it might not be as primed and prepped and ready to take on all of that water as it was today. And it was ready today. We actually had below average rainfall totals and still we saw flooding out there today. So more rain in the forecast tomorrow and Thursday. Even on Friday, it becomes scattered and then those rain chances drop back a bit for the weekend. In the tropics, we're watching two areas. We have Philippe out there. This is a tropical storm and yes, I know we don't like the path of this. Notice how it's heading towards Puerto Rico, but the good news is with this, it is expected to significantly weaken. So it's something we're watching closely, but it is expected to fall apart over here. And then we will likely also have our next name storm, which will be named Rena. There's a 90% chance of that storm developing within the next two days. Here's a look at our seven day forecast. Again, rain chances stay in the forecast through the work week with the risk of localized flooding. Thank you.